You're not prisoners here, you're guests. Welcome to the Geek Room. Hey, what's good, everybody? I'm go doing a ranked episode, and I'm ranking the first six seasons of AMC's The Walking Dead. If you don't like The Walking Dead, well, get the heck out of here. Don't even give me a thumbs up. I don't want it from you. Actually, if you you know what, I don't even mind. Go ahead. Give me the thumbs up. I don't even care. But either way, if you don't like it, you're wrong. I'm sorry. Sorry. My bad. But the comics are a thousand times better. I will admit that. But the show's still frackin' fantastic, and you should be watching it, okay? There's been six seasons that are fantastic, some not so fantastic, and I am going to rank my top six, and yeah, people are not going to be pleased with the order of these. Um, I think where I have what's number six is really going to not like make people, they're going to make people upset, and one of the other seasons that's higher up, people are going to be like, what, that's, just, that's stupid, but... Either way, I don't care. Let's get right into it. Number six is season three. Sorry, guys. I know a lot of you love season three, but in my opinion, I do not like David Morrissey's The Governor. I like him as a villain, yes? But The Governor in the comics is just so much more crazy. He's insane. I don't know. I just really... I don't know really what to say. I think they didn't really do the prison very well compared to how they did it in the comics and like just so much I didn't really like about it I was happy that Lori died definitely it also made me sad when she died because of the speech she gave but like I wanted her to be alive with Judith you know and how Carl comes up with Judith's name he's like dad remember my third grade teacher yeah well I think I'm gonna name our baby Judith Okay, did your third grade teacher tutor you even though she didn't have to and help you make it to the fourth grade? Did she stop a bully from beating you up? Did, is that your secret girlfriend? That made no sense. Okay, hey, yo, remember my third grade teacher, Miss Lance? I'm going to name her D. Well, actually, you know what, that actually does make sense. Miss Lance was the bomb.com. She loved my brother, so by default, by the time I had her, she loved me. She used to bring me Ninja Turtle Hat Meal toys. Um, okay, thanks, Miss Lance. Mr. Davis, didn't, love, didn't hate him. I'd be like, hey, yo, um, let's name the baby Rob. What did Mr. Davis do for me? Yeah, he was a cool guy. He didn't help me pass. He helped all the students pass, you know? He either failed or he didn't. He wasn't a douche, wasn't an angel to me, so uh, that made no sense. It always bothered me. It, I didn't like that Rick went on his crazy spree way before he, he should have. But I'm also, I also am glad they got it out of the way so we didn't have to deal with that later. Herschel, I was, yeah, I was fine with that. I definitely was sad with T-Dog's death. But I just think the whole governor storyline was really stupid. And, like, every time they attacked the prison, they didn't kill anybody. They attacked it twice. They killed Axel once. The other time, they literally sprinted out of the prison because of Maggie and Glenn shooting at them a few times, and then the governor killed everybody except for two of his people. Like, that was just so stupid. It was pointless. And, like, you're telling me that they got a clean shot on Axel right away, and then no one else, even the people up in the guard tower, didn't kill anybody else? You're telling me that nobody shot through Axel's dead body into Carol? She at least got nicked. Like, Maggie's had him behind the filing cabinet, didn't get shot, no one got killed. It just bothered me that their small group took out all the governor's people all the freaking time. And it made me mad. Like, Andrew's character, they were already butchering since season one. And they they just were really destroying her character. But season three, they really destroyed her. She was so annoying. She was sleeping with the governor. Obviously, like, I feel like nobody, really nobody, would have been that dumb. Like... Her family, you know, that she survived season one and two with, she hadn't seen in months, and I'm sure she wanted to get back with. Michonne, who became her new family, are all working together because of this psychopath, and they're telling her that. And she's like, oh, well, my entire family during this apocalypse, or this guy that I'm sleeping with that my entire family says is insane. I know people do that in real life, but, like, I just feel like it was so stupid. It was just so, like, no, that was, 
And then Tyrese, they brought him in just to kick him out and push him to the governor's place. Like, I was already waiting for Tyrese forever, and then they just got rid of him. It just, oh my. Season 3, I think they really butchered that season. At number 5, we got Season 6. Season 6, I didn't hate, really, but it still wasn't fantastic. I didn't really like the whole wolves thing. They didn't drag it out as much as I thought they would. But, like, in the comics, they're just called Derek and the Scavengers, and they get killed instantly. I didn't hate it. Morgan returned, which is awesome, but they've made him become just a big bitch, and he doesn't do anything. He just talks about peace and doesn't ever want to kill. He barely wants to kill zombies. So stupid. Gabriel started making his comeback, thank God. And I'm glad because everyone was hating on him. Eugene and Abraham made their comeback. Uh, we are introduced to my boy Jesus. I'm mad that they changed his name to Rubio, which is kind of stupid. Or Rubio, whatever it is. I'm, I don't hate the actor that plays Jesus. I'm sure I'll grow to it more. The guy that plays Gregory did an amazing job. I think they did the, the No Way Out storyline really well. I was pumped in the premiere because they brought in Heath and Scott. They showed more of Scott than they have Heath. Fun fact, Scott is actually married, like in real life, the actor plays Scott is married to the actress to play Saucer. Just fun fact. Anyways, they're awesome people in the comics. Heath and Glenn are best friends. And spoiler alert, yeah, everybody knows Glenn's dead now. We don't get to see them do any of their... They didn't show any of their cool team-ups out scavenging for crap. Like, except they... You saw them working together twice, and it was not very much. Uh, I was definitely pumped that Nicholas died that season. Even though Nicholas, he was a dick in the comic. But he wasn't a coward, and uh, just like he was in the show. I'm mad that we didn't get any Heath screen time. Tara, later on, she's pregnant during this season in real life. They do not try to hide her pregnancy at all. I was so ready to see Holly, that's the girl Abraham cheats on and Rosita with in the comics, and she's so badass, I love Holly, like she's up there in my top characters. In season 5, Tara talks to, she, uh, talks to Noah, and says, hey yo, Noah, I saw you talking to Holly last night, what's her deal? And he's like, why? Well, she goes, oh come on, I just want to know, because Holly's a good looking girl. And then in the season 1 premiere, when Heath first shows up, he's like, hey yo, where's Holly? And Eugene's like, oh, Holly left, and I took over her shift. So Holly was there, and I was like, oh my god, Holly's coming! And then in the season two premiere, you see a short-haired blonde girl get, like, stabbed or shot or something, and then Denise failed at saving her, and Holly died. Literally, the episode we meet Holly, they kill her off, and I'm like, are you kidding me? I loved Holly. That made me beyond mad. I hated the whole Glenn thing where they pretended he was dead all that time. Like, obviously he wasn't dead. And that was just stupid to waste all of our time throughout that. I'm, I like that we got to see the hilltop. We got introduced to Negan in the finale. Which, also, the finale, I was I didn't hate that we had to wait all summer for the season 7 premiere. But, like, it just would have been better to get it right then. And then have this whole wait to see the outcome. At the beginning of season 6, we see Dwight. But everyone was just calling him Dean. He didn't have a burn face. I was getting real mad about it. But now this season, he I've grown to like Dwight now. I am liking him. Carol starts going through this like whiny baby crap. Like she, yeah, Carol, you killed a lot of people. So is Rick. So is Daryl. So is Maggie. Stop crying about it. Like she's writing notes and all sad. She keeps running away and people have to keep going after her. I don't understand why she's run, She's making me mad. Uh, number four, season one. Season one, only six episodes. You know, you gotta see if people will like it. Great start, honestly. Great start. The first five episodes are like, I don't even like the CDC episode. You get to see Rick wake up from the coma, reunite with his family, see Shane and uh, Rick are like, awesome, my best friend's alive. You see the whole Glenn and Rick's best buddy thing. Daryl being all mad about everything. You gotta, just, it's, I think they'd end like Jim, even though he's short-lived. I mean, he did it in the comics, too, but he was a good character. He looked like Jim and acted like Jim. I loved Morales, even though they got rid of him. I liked the whole Camp Attack episode. What was that? That was, uh, Bato's. I liked the whole Bato's gang. They were dope. I liked that. I liked the episode's guts. Like, those, those, a lot of the episodes, season one's first four episodes were amazing. Season five, or episode five was, eh, all right, didn't hate it. I didn't really like to see the see up. So, like I said, love Jackie's add-in character. But yeah, there wasn't a really a lot going on that season because it was just the start. But still, it was an awesome first season. It was awesome. Number three, a lot of people are going to hate me that it's even up this far. Season two, I know a lot of people hate me. Their season two's budget wasn't very high, so they had to do something like that. 
but I loved it. Because in the comics, I love the act actor that played Axel. He did his part really well, I think. He just didn't look anything like Axel, but he talked and acted just like Axel from the comics. I like the add-in of Oscar. Yeah, the prisoners were a little butchered, but I was still fine with that. Probably on the farm, three, four issues maybe, they dragged it out a lot further, but I'm glad they did that because it showed Rick and them get close to Herschel's family. In the comics, Herschel just kicks him out and then they come back for him later. But I liked it. You got the end. What was good about not killing Shane at the end of season one like they do in the comics, you got to see his craziness progress, his love for Lori and Carl want to be the baby, uh, the baby's father. And you just got to see them go at odds, and I love that. You got to see them trade everybody with guns. One of my favorite things was when Beth uh, was getting ready to commit suicide. I'm not, I love Beth, but it was cool because Andrea had to watch her, but she left her alone. And I liked that. She was like, um, well, now you know she's not actually going to kill herself. I just, that was such a fantastic season. It's when Carl really becomes a little dick, but I like Carl now. Uh, the whole Sophia, search for Sophia. I, I don't know about you guys that watched that. I had so much hope to find Sophia. And then she walked out of that barn. Oh, I teared up. And then Dale, that destroyed me. Just a whole shade. Versus Rick thing was great. Yeah, again, there wasn't too much zombie action. Until, but the finale was great. The whole barn on fire, everything, Shane. Just that was a fantastic finale, in my opinion. Still makes me mad that they split up from Andrea, which made no sense, but okay. Still, a good season. Season two was fantastic, even though a lot of people hate it. Number two is season four. Season four... I liked a lot of it. A lot of people don't really like the second half, but I like that too. Season four, I like the start of it. It shows that they had built up a community in the prison. In the, sh in the comics, they do that. They didn't have that big of a community in the prison. But they're all living way throughout the prison. They got animals. They got uh, crops, everything. And it's awesome. But then they have that whole sick thing going on, which I kind of liked, but kind of didn't like also. I liked when Daryl... I like the premiere when they all go to the big spot. That was awesome. I like when Daryl, Michonne, Tyrese, and Bob all go out on that run on episode three or four. I like the whole thing how Carol killed Karen and David, hoping that would get rid of the sickness. And then Rick got rid of her, which was an awesome thing. I was definitely pissed when he did that, but like it was still an awesome like thing to do, like you know. And then the season or the episode five of it, it ended. With a lot of zombies coming, Rick and Carl work together to take care of everything. Everything's finally coming back together at the prison. But then the governor shows up and it ends. And then we get the two crappy episodes of the governor, which I literally skip any time I'm re-watching it. And then the mid-season finale, where the governor attacks, I didn't really like because he just grabbed a bunch of random people and they were okay with it. But I did like it. I hated seeing Herschel die, but like it was, it needed to be, be done like that. Dude, that was good for the show. And you see Beth and Maggie's anger. Everybody just goes crazy. And Rick's about to be like choked out and beat the shit out of by the governor. Michonne stabs him and really shoots the governor. Fun fact, you can see the little, uh, the girl that Rick finds in the woods back in the first episode of that season. She's a zombie walking through the prison yard at the end of that. Just see their whole home, their community, their family and friends have all died. They're destroyed. The group split. Uh... And Carl and Rick, they're so sad because they think Judah's dead and they gotta leave. And then the next part of the season, I like how they split everybody up. Rick, Carl, Michonne, they reunite like they did in the comics. Daryl and Beth. I love seeing Daryl and Beth's thing. A lot of people hated their relationship, but I loved it. I made mad that Beth got kidnapped randomly. I love the Beth, or the Maggie, Bob, and Sasha group. I love that group because they became such good friends. I loved it. And Sasha and, uh, Bob had that thing. I love their relationship. And Sasha and Maggie are even good friends now on the show. Like, they left together to go to the hilltop. I like that Tyrese had the kids and that Carol reunited with him. I was hoping that they were going to get together like they did in the comics. Glenn and Tara. I like that he met Tara. And I'm glad that then he met Abraham's crew. And they all reunite at Terminus in the end. And my number one Walking Dead season is, of course, season five. It's a fantastic season. The premiere is fantastic. Carol saves the day. They're all reunited and together. I love seeing Sasha, uh, Tyrese, Rick, Carl, Judith all reunite and hug it out. It was awesome seeing Carol again. Then they meet Gabriel, and they're just having a great time. And then Bob, but he, Bob's bit. 
He gets kidnapped by Gareth and the cannibals that are left over. And they bring that scene from the comic of Dale and Chris to life with Gareth and Bob. It was amazing. It was just such a great scene. And then they have the whole Beth thing, which I don't... There's one of the episodes with Beth, like, of her episodes. Uh, I think it's probably her first one. Or whatever episode her no chart escape. I like that one. The other Beth episodes I'm not a big fan of, but I was excited. <sighs> Because I was so happy to get Beth back. But then, though, then her and Carol left, and then they were like, Hey, yo, give us our people back, and we'll to give you yours. And she goes, Okay, give me Noah. And then Beth went to stab her, and Don, like, shot her, shot Beth. And it makes me sad because you saw Don's face. She didn't mean to. It was just like a um, reaction. It was just her. That's She's a cop, you know? That's just. She's used to that kind of stuff. It was her uh, instinct. There we go. But, yeah, like, it was sad. Like, I'm definitely glad they killed Dawn because she killed my girl Beth. But, like, it was sad because you know she didn't want to. She did really like Beth. And uh, I liked that you saw Rick and Daryl. They were both pissed. They went and everybody else was shot. Went to shoot her and Daryl shot the heck out of her. And then they came out. Maggie drops to the ground because she's all excited. Thinking she's reuniting with her sister. Like, she lost everybody. And now Glenn, like, run your second half. Then Tyrese dies right away. Oh my god, that destroyed me. I like that episode a lot. Because those are some of my favorite characters out on the run. And it shows that funeral at the beginning of the episode, but you think it's best funeral, but it's Tyrese's. God, that episode destroyed me. Oh my gosh. Mm-mm-mm. God, that show, it does not quit. Then they have that awesome episode where it's like a giant storm, and they're freaking out because Aaron's following them, and they're in some psychopath. And, uh, they have, they go in the barn, and he gives the We Are the Walking Dead speech. It wasn't as amazing as it is in the comics, but still, it was pretty good. I love that they all work together, and they're, like, holding the door shut. It was just that, it, I really liked that episode. And I like that they were all so weak and just didn't care. They were just, like, letting the zombies do whatever. But, like, Maggie, Sasha, and Daryl were all messed up because of Beth, Bob, Beth and Bob. And so they, they were, like, just too messed up for that. Uh... They meet Aaron. Rick's a douche to Aaron, of course. Then they meet Eric and Aaron. They're definitely skeptical of uh, Alexandria, which everybody would be. Uh, and they start their Alexandria life. And my boy Noah, I'm thinking, is going to have a great couple, at least a great season and a half on the show. And they kill off because of Nicholas's dumbass. Pissed me off. I Some of the characters that we got introduced to, I like the uh, Deanna Reg uh Switch. I prefer them over Douglas and Regina, to be honest. And the whole Rick starting to fall for Jesse, and then him and Pete beating the crap out of each other. He's like, me? Me? You're talking to me? And he goes all crazy. And season five, just a fantastic... And, like, the honest trailers for him, they're like, fans of the comics have been waiting for the comics to come to life. And the, after three seasons, they're still waiting, which is so true. But season four is when they start bringing the comics to life and bringing a lot of it out, and it's awesome. The, that show is a fantastic show. All the seasons are fantastic. Let me know in the comments below, what are your favorite seasons of The Walking Dead? How would you rank them? I figure a lot of you disagree because of where season 3 and season 2 were placed. But just let me know. I would love, I love Walking Dead. I love talking about this stuff. And until next time, did get bit. Hey yo, if y'all like what you just saw in that video, hit subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Even if you don't, I'm sure there's something here for you, like Venus de Milo. Who doesn't love a good female turtle with boobs, you know? That's always a good time. We got unboxings, we got fake swords, and we got real swords.